All right. I was trying to swap the camera around and stuff. Um, apparently it doesn't work. I have a stupid iPhone and I'm not paying for the uh, editor or whatever. So this is completely live, unedited. I don't really give a shit. If you guys are gonna get something from it, cool. That's all I care about. All right. Um, 04 G35 sedan. I put the uh, clutch pedal in. It was kind of a pain in the ass and I'm not done. But I got that bolt. I got the uh, pin up there and and I got that bolt in. There are still two bolts, one there and one up right there that you have to drill out. So I mounted this. So I'm gonna somehow get a drill bit up in there, probably up and through there. I don't know, up and through there somehow. And um, get, that, uh, get that mounted. I mean, I don't think it's gonna move. <laughs> I, it doesn't move actually it's actually pretty solid so i might do that i don't know um somebody will let me know in the comments i'm sure and i got the uh clutch reservoir mounted right there and uh nissan infinity was kind enough to give you uh the holes pre-drilled from the manual i guess this is from the you know the uh, manual flange whatever that they bolt in here or weld in here pinch weld whatever you want to call it so it's a uh, car was a 5 AT um, the re 5r 5a I actually like that transmission it's it's pretty bitey it um it's pretty sturdy too I have a uh, m35 that has uh, 347 thousand miles on it um, at 343,000 miles, I had to change out the transmission. Uh, this one has 145,000, and I'm actually going to take this transmission and put it in my M35. But, um, yeah, I just want to show you this. They have... It's crappy camera quality. I'm, I'm no professional, okay? I'll tell you that right now. So, there's the bolt holes. They gave you those. So, I mean, that's, that's how your reservoir is going to mount. And, uh... I think I'm over a little far, but I wanted to make sure I was over far enough to make sure I had the uh, brake pedal in and I didn't want to be stepping on the brakes as I was pushing the clutch. So I don't have little baby feet. I mean, I, I'm not a big guy by any ma means, but um, I know these uh, pedals can be pretty close together, you know, in a stock. Uh, gee, I've heard some guys complain about them. Anyhow, I gave myself a little extra room, so it's ever a little far, but I, I assure you it works. If you adjust it right, it'll work. Um, I gotta put my brake booster back in right there. There's my brake booster. And uh, I have a flange for it. So when you tear this out, that flange goes right up against here. Um, this is kind of a pain in the ass. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this guy over here. I'm gonna take this guy, and he's malleable. He'll give you some leeway. You just prop him up there like that. And he hangs right here on his flange and you can slip that booster down in here. You have plenty of room to kick it in there or whatever. It'll work, trust me, I've already done it. I already tried it out. It's kind of a bitch to get it, you know, squeezed out of here. Sorry for my language. Uh, I'm no church guy either. So uh, I got that secured and centered whatever i'm gonna try and get this uh brake booster in here but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna um do that on the uh you know while i'm holding the phone um i'm bad enough with this thing anyhow so i mean there it is that's kind of an idea of you know where it's gonna go if you guys decide to do this it's not that bad it's uh it's actually a pretty fun swap i'm enjoying myself so far um, I still have to put the uh, brake pedal in. I got the brake pedal. I got these from a manual G. So this uh, pedal and the uh, brake pedal are, well, this pedal you have to fabricate. You have to get it in. You got to cut those holes out. And I didn't do that good of a job, but I mean, I butchered that shit, but it's going in. It's good. I got that hole drilled, that one, and then that third one. Yeah. Where is he? Right there. Sorry, not a lot of room. <laughs> you have um, 
you have this stuff here in the way this uh, I dropped my steering rack so I only have one bolt in it um, it makes it a lot easier to be able to get to your uh, brake bolts because you have to go over this flange right here so if you drop this it's super easy everything just goes straight to it so uh, I'd recommend just drop the steering rack it's not that bad um, I paid 300 bucks for this car this is just a uh, just a fun car for me it's not really like it's not my daily um, I still have to convert this over so I gotta tear this out and I guess you gotta take this out and then uh, I guess um, down in there uh, where the uh, shifter comes up through you have to cut it back like butcher it a little bit right here um, other than that uh, and I'm also going to um, I had the uh, foot e-brake right here so this is going to come out and I think it comes back through the center console down here um, because if you look underneath I'll sh oh, I guess I'll show you that <sighs> Hurt. all right it comes up through the floor right <laughs> it's right there uh, I think yes all right we're looking right at it uh, it comes up through the floor right there I don't think I can get the right angle on it whatever you guys get the idea it's right up here through the center and um there it is follows through so i think what i could do is disconnect it right here and get one from like a 350z or something and um and mount that into this so i'll take that longer cable out get one from like a 350z or even a g35 sedan and just take this out and swap them in I'm probably gonna take that off and uh, clean it up since it's all rusted. I'll shoot some paint on it, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be the easiest route. And then it'll just go right there through the center of the floor. And um, uh, then it'll just bolt in like a normal one. I don't know if uh, Infinity, Nissan, whatever included that. So we're gonna find that out when we take the console out. But this is my fun little car here. Uh, she's seen better days but I'm gonna take good care of her. I have a set of wheels and stuff for her. Um, uh, cool overs, uh, wrap that's gonna go on it. I put a new windshield in her, so that's brand new. Um, there's my other baby. Ooh, RB25 swapped, 240SX. I also put a windshield in this, because over the winter time, it got some rust in here, and it I guess the rust built up enough that it cracked the windshield across here. And I have a guy that, you know, he'll throw a sticker on just about anything, but he told me he wasn't gonna do that for this if it had the crack there. So I got a new windshield for it. And they're harder to find than you think. So there's my RV25. Um, that was actually painted uh, pretty decently a while ago. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get that all cleaned up and get it painted, but I'm trying to maintain the uh, stock look to her uh she's gonna need a paint job too but main focus is on this six speed swap for that um gonna try and uh, retain the uh vq35 i might might uh put the 37 in it vhr or i might actually go with the uh, vk56 and the um and the adapter plate which i saw let me see z1 had one for a thousand bucks and that's not a bad deal. Uh, I'd probably grab it up. And um, so it'd be a five, six swap. And I've seen people that did these, you gotta cut these flanges out. All this like bracing, you gotta cut all that out so you can get the motor in. So we're gonna do that, that's gonna be fun. Um, I'll try to keep posting videos. Like I said, I'm not the best at this stuff. So whatever you guys can get from them and my rambling, um, good luck, thanks.